Hi there. My name is Raj Sankavaram. I'm the product evangelist of a unique scaled agile collaboration acceleration platform that we call Metronome Orchestrated Agile. I'm also the CEO of Radis Software. To simplify and enhance our ability to lead and manage scaled agile implementations with our end customers, we've created Metronome, the first cloud-enabled scaled agile orchestration platform. In this vlog series, we're going to take you on an exciting journey of discovery. We're going to define and expand on a serious challenge that exists today, both within our public sector agency as well as our commercial entity. The challenge of defining true business and mission agility. We are going to first define this challenge and then showcase how we've created this revolutionary solution that agencies and businesses can leverage in order to help them address this challenge. Lastly, we are going to feature a few testimonials from some of our customers and partners that are leveraging Metronome today to realize true business and mission agility. In this modern digital world, both our public sector agencies as well as our businesses need that ability to react quickly and efficiently to changing customer mission and business requirements. We must be willing to pursue new approaches as what works today may not work tomorrow. So not only do we have to be agile, we have to be willing to adapt quickly to changing requirements. You, me, everyone that are supporting these business requirements need to have a common vision or purpose and we need to focus on the needs of our customer regardless whether these customers are internal or external to the business or agency mission. When I say everyone, we include all groups such as IT operations, legal, marketing, finance, compliance, security, all of them. So given this, here is a core question. Can the concept and practices of business agility Mission Agility, can this be adopted successfully beyond IT to groups such as these? If so, what do these groups need? One thing that is clearly needed is the awareness that it is the collective we, we who own the challenge of driving agility adoption in all of these groups. In order to be successful, we have to strike a balance among the various stakeholders. You have your product management, your program leadership, your business owners and the teams that are actually doing the work. There needs to be a shared understanding, a common application of agile behaviors, values and principles. The leadership, both within our business as well as our public sector agencies, they need to have the ability to visualize and track this end-to-end -end flow of business value. They need to be able to uh, quickly collect metrics that show the end-to-end -end flow of business value in order to support and drive evidence-based decision-making. This supports the true business agility. So to prove that business and mission agility is possible, leaders require the visual ability to see the work as it flows through the system and to identify bottlenecks and opportunities for improvement. So in order to provide them this insight, leaders need to rely on technology and tools. Tools, collaboration tools that support not only local but distributed development. Tools that enable and promote that intense degree of interaction and cooperation that is required in today's distributed world. In some cases, technology can provide them with a lot of information. We've all heard of fake news, haven't we? What can we really believe? What is really real? Collaboration between teams easy and rapid visualization of flow of value and the confidence that you can trust the information that is presented to you are the key elements that must exist in order to realize successful agile transformation across all groups of business. Metronome Orchestrated Agile is Radis Software's gift to true agile transformation. Our ALM platform connects the various backlogs and Kanbans the teams use to manage their local work and provides that enterprise-wide visibility. Metronome's primary purpose is to connect technology and architecture to business and mission using a minimum number of concepts that executives and technologists can agree upon. Our objective here 
is to connect all of the various stakeholders and empower that precision decision making through the creation of dashboards. During the next few series, we will take you on a journey of discovery. We will show you how Metronome provides a powerful yet flexible foundation for business and mission agility. So let's get started. I'm extremely excited to have with me Dan Mears today. He's a national leader for data and, and analytics governance at RSM Global. Dan, welcome. Can you share with us how Metronome helped you and your organization with your end users, your customers with their agile transformation journey? Yes, thank you, Raj, and thank you for having me. Um, we appreciate all the support that Radis has provided in our consulting work as we've moved from what was a fairly limited Scrum Agile approach to understanding how to leverage scale Agile in the SAFE framework. Um, your training and the certification of our people has really moved our practice forward. But as we did that, what we came to realize was we also had to move forward in the way that we planned, managed, and communicated our work. Mm -hmm. And so Metronome has given us this kind of orchestrated view, a set of views and capabilities we need. Let me give you a couple of quick examples. In large-scale programs, some of which we've done together, mm -hmm. what we've found is that we need to give our sponsors and our stakeholders in these programs a clear sense of when pieces of business value will be delivered. Now, we know that we can look at program increments, we can look at stories and so forth, and we can say how important are they and we can prioritize them. But we needed to somehow bundle what we think of as a business payload of very discernible capabilities into a program increment and say, here is the cadence of program increment delivery. Here's what payload is included in each of those. We did that with your help at a feature level, rolling stories, managing the backlog to that. That gave our sponsors the confidence throughout the program that two things would happen. One, we would prioritize and deliver discrete payloads, pieces of business capability in the time frames they needed. And two, that we would maintain a cadence or orchestration of delivery so they could count on those occurring at regular intervals and in tight, well-defined program increments, not these, these, this kind of ballooning thing that tends to happen in complex programs. Now, what we also learned was that as we went through this, we could remain agile and we could remain consistent with uh, scale agile framework requirements and standards. So for example, we might have a payload that is in the next program increment. We look at the, in the current PI and say, oh, the customer's mission mm -hmm. has changed a bit. Mm -hmm. And we need to adjust, and in this case, we were delivering a set of risk models and an implementation for those models against a multi-billion dollar credit portfolio. So as we learned the model would have to change, even though we had started it and we had delivered a good bit, we could do that in SAFE. We could model it in Metronome to say, oh, we're going to, in the next PI, add some stories, restructure some things, and make sure we have the resources and the capacity in that PI to do that. That means we shift some things out, we groom the backlog. What was really important was that Metronome gave us the visual representation of these things so that we could put program executives from a very high level parts of the federal agency we worked with into our scrum of scrums, share those visuals, explain the impact, let them know that they could change or add to requirements because we were maintaining that safe approach. That built their confidence and we have in fact delivered those things successfully with your help. That is awesome. Now, let us go in and see how Dan and his team leverage Metronome to plan, manage, and communicate the work with their project sponsors throughout the program execution. So the project sponsors and the program leadership can now access product roadmap in Metronome to visualize the value that is being delivered. They can go in and see what are some of the fixed date milestones and how are the teams planning for these um, milestones in the planning horizon. 
they can see what are some of the release milestones and what are the features or the payload that is being bundled in these releases. They can also see what is the cadence for development, right? Um, they can see are these releases decoupled from these PI boundaries? Are we architecting towards releasability? Right? They can go in and leverage this architecture runway to see if there's a continuous flow of features. They can also go in and see what are some of the objectives that are part of this particular PI. Right? Business is all about strategy and about business value and IT is all about delivery. What is exactly being included in each release? Right. So when I click on this release, I see all the features of the payload that is being part of this release. In order to prioritize the payload, prioritize the features that are being included in each release, right? Uh, Dan and his team access the backlog. This is where they see all the features or the payload, right? They can go in and edit the feature and enter the scores for each of the values that you see in a WSGIF. So when they click on submit, right, metronome calculates the WSGIF and they can sort the features in the backlog based on the WSGIF and pull the feature with the maximum priority for implementation into the upcoming PI. Now what happens during the execution of the program increment? Teams, the business requirements change and teams want to go in and, um, you know, uh, add new stories or remove some of the stories. How can they do that? Right now, as business requirements change, they, it's very easy. They access the team backlog and they go in and um, they can go in and add stories, right? Remove stories, um, drag and drop new stories. All of that can be done very easily here. 